Hi guys, John here, Electricians Need to Know. I'm talking to you today about voltage drop. Now, the National Electric Code is a little confusing. Uh, it's, it says 3%, and then it goes on to say a total of 5%. So what that actually means is uh, they don't want to see more than a 3% drop at any outlet, and no more than a 5% drop uh, with a load connected to it. So with that being said, uh, without going through a lot of calculations, and, and there's a lot of uh, calculations out there, uh, this, this little ugly pickup at the depot uh, or hardware stores, uh, pretty cheap. Uh, it's got a lot of good information on it. There's a section on voltage drop. Um, it has examples, and uh, but the main thing electricians um, really need. This is a 2014, so it's it's been a while since I've been uh, to the depot. But anyway, uh, what electricians really need to know is uh, how far, or or anyone else, how far do they need to run a circuit before they increase the wire size? because they're going to have orangey lights or, or they're not going to make an adequate uh, power uh, for their loads uh, under the code. Uh, and we always try to stay within the code if we can. Uh, some, some codes are so ridiculous that I just bypass them over the years. But, um, and I have a few videos on that do bypass some of the codes. But... Uh, that's because they're nonsensical. Now, I was a member of the National Fire Prevention Association, and the ASTM, and a few other uh, committees, and I voted uh, one way or the other for a lot of rules, and uh, I usually got voted down because everybody wants to make rules, and I think people, uh, there are too many rules out there now. So, that being said, the 5%, the let's say you have a chicken coop out there and you decide you want to put, put some lights in it uh, so you can go collect eggs at night, okay? Uh, you want that light to work okay. You don't want it to be too orangey, whether it's a fluorescent or, a, or an incandescent or an LED, no matter what. Uh, of course, the L, with the advent of LEDs, uh, if you put a LED circuits out there, it's going to be a lot less. So the voltage drop has to do with load. Um, the lows. Now, as an electrician, I always, as an electrician, I always calculated my loads um, based on the resistance of the wire. But a lot of uh, a lot of electricians and a lot of uh, guys that aren't electricians and, and they live in an area that doesn't require them to have an electrical license. Um, they just want to get their circuit in and they want it to run reasonably well and and they want to, of course, go by the code if, if, if the code isn't too dramatic or disastrous. So uh, I've used a lot of rules uh, and I've, I've broken a, a few just because I wanted to get the circuit in and, and I wanted it to function, um, but I knew that it was going to function fine the way I put it in. So uh, it has to do with the resistance of the wire and the load on the wire. Uh, so if you take a 20 amp circuit, you're allowed to load at 16 amps. Uh, if you load at 8 amps, that's like half, half the distance. So you could go up to like 200 feet as long as your voltage is up there, 120, uh, you can go about 200 feet before uh, you need to change the wire size. Uh, if you have a higher load, let's say your load is uh, like 12 amps or something like that, then I would change it before I reached uh, 175. 175 is, seems to me like a good uh, distance uh, if you have a moderate voltage, or excuse me, moderate current. Now, a lot of a lot of you are going to have 110 volts, and you're not going to have 120 to start off with. So the time you get out there, uh, your voltage drop is going to be uh, 
you know, six, six volts, uh, seven volts, and, and you're going to be sitting down around uh, 102 volts, which is not good. So you have to look at what you're starting with. Uh, some of these uh, outbuildings and, and these panels are sitting out in the middle of a, a farmhouse or something that their voltage is already low. So looking at the voltage, you want to stay at least uh, 108 volts, 110 volts uh, for any load that you have out there. So if you're, if your load is if your load is high, and your distance is far, you need to up that wire size uh, around 150 to 200 feet. Uh, that wire size needs to bump. Uh, that'll reduce your load, reduce your voltage drop. So anyway, um, hope that makes sense to most of you. So um, if you're in a hot um, area that your ambient temperature is up around 113 degrees uh, or higher. Uh, we need to look at the amount of temperature. Uh, you need a 90 degree C wire, which would be a THHN uh, wire. It would also, uh, at 113 degrees, I think the code says that you have to uh, deduct 5% of that wire. So you get 95% of whatever the rating is of that wire. So um, let's say on a 120 volt uh, circuit, 20 amps, uh, you could only use 95%, but it says in the code that you can only use uh, 16 amps anyway. So you take 95 times 16 to give you the current uh, that you could use at a load uh, for that circuit. John here, electricians need to know. Now I have about 20 videos on YouTube that deal with mainly electrical issues. We have some uh, tying off ladders and protecting your toolbox and uh, things of that nature. But primarily I've been an electrician for 50 years and I'm trying to pass that on before I kick the bucket. So subscribe to my channel and uh, periodically I'll put on another video and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.